Good morning, St. Francis, and good morning, people of God. It is Wednesday, the 24th day of the month of May, 2023. It is Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. It is the 46th day of the Easter season. Um, coming to you from our parking lot, which you can see is much fuller today uh, than normal here at the church. And the reason for that is because it is graduation day for eighth graders. Hence, I get to wear my little doctor cap, uh, which is the only time during the year I ever get to wear my little doctor cap. I didn't print out the whole kit and caboodle uh, because it's a little bit too much. Uh, uh, but uh, we're celebrating our eighth graders today as they uh, uh, commence themselves into uh, high school, uh, leaving the Franciscan school and their many years that they have spent there. Um, and so we celebrate them um, and we pray for them um, as they continue uh, to grow in wisdom, knowledge, and strength. Um, so our readings for today, uh, special readings for the graduation mass today, but our readings for today, um, Paul is again addressing uh, the people, the, the elders of the church, uh, the community in Ephesus, uh, but he's at the port of Miletus. Um, which is where he is going to disembark from, or embark from, not disembark, <laughs> embark from, uh, to go to Jerusalem again to face trial that will then send him to Rome and eventually martyrdom. Um, and again, uh, he tells, um, again, he tells the people to be faithful. Um, again, these final parting words, uh, because this is kind of the end of his, um, missionary work. He's going to now have to deal with legal matters and things like that once he goes back to uh, Jerusalem. But uh, again, the understanding about being faithful um, and about um, uh, building up the faith and not listening to those who will have all kinds of ideas about who this Jesus is and what he is not um, and uh, who will be telling lies about him because, again, either the truth is too much to handle or they fear um, what it is that Jesus is challenging us as uh, as, as humanity to do and to become. Um, again, so the idea of the savage wolves prowling about them. So even in the early church, you know, again, it's, it's, it's the early, early church at the just beginnings of, of the community, there were always issues. There were always issues because um, Jesus' message is either too wonderful to behold or it's too difficult to comprehend. And so all kinds of ideas begin to be uh, formed about it. And, and and it creates a lot of consternation. It creates a lot of issues and problems. And uh, again, the, the caution that Paul gives to be uh, wary and to be... Um, uh, uh, knowledgeable about what seems to be true to what it is that Jesus taught and said and what is of our own human creation that is not good for us to believe. It's not good for us to move forward as human beings. That is still the case today. There are a lot of well-meaning people who want to interpret this uh, faith and to interpret our community along all kinds of human lines and not along the lines that God gave us. Um, again, the, the lines of, of understanding ourselves as believers that come from God. And those lines are not familiar to us many times because in our world of order, uh, they are not ordered. In our world of thinking that this is the only way things have to be, the way that God writes, the way that God understands things, is that there are a variety of, 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 of ways in which we can embrace the truth and reality of who and what we are. Um, and to prohibit those realities from becoming, from coming to light is something that's going to harm and hurt us eventually. Uh, so Paul's caution, again, um, rings true even in this, even in our own time to be cautious and wary of what it is that we hear people talking about. If it's not about love, it's not about forgiveness, it's not about hope, it's not about growth, it's not about change, it's not about becoming, then perhaps it isn't from God. Um, and we don't need to listen to it and we need to move away from it to those things that do speak, you know, of, of those wonderful truths and realities. Um, the people um, at Miletus again weep as Paul gets onto the ship because like he said yesterday, they will never see his face again. And it is sad, it is sad for them. Um, as again, he, Paul departs uh, to move on uh, to a future um, that is yet unknown to him. Um, in, in John's Gospel, again, we're coming to the conclusion, like I said yesterday, of the great Last Supper discourses, the Last Supper speech that Jesus gives. And again, Jesus prays for unity. Uh, Jesus prays that the Spirit continue to guide us, the Spirit that Jesus will send at Pentecost, that Jesus continues to send into our lives. Again, that was sent into um, that was sent into our, in, in, into uh, into this world um, when Jesus died on the cross and breathed his last. Jesus' spirit, you know, again, uh, covered the entire world um, and so all, all of creation. And so we continue uh, to live out of that wisdom and knowledge that comes with that spirit that Jesus gives, um, his very life that he gives, uh, so that we might be able to live more fully and more wonderfully. Um, Jesus prays for humanity. Jesus prays, again, for us as human beings. Although he is leaving, he says, we remain. Um, but we remain 
remain. And Jesus says, because we are not part of the world. Now, it's important to remember, it doesn't mean the world is bad and that basically heaven is better than this earth. Um, it may well indeed, but this, but this world is still good. Um, it is what this world sometimes embraces and what this world thinks is important, what this world thinks matters is the issue. Because um, it does not often think or, or, or find things that matter along the light of God, along the same lines as God matters. And those things have to be defeated. Those things have to be overcome. Um, that understanding of the world is not good. It is not from God and it, mars it masks and it mars the beauty and the wisdom and the, and, and the uh, wonder of who and what God is. For us, you know, to be, again, conscious and wary, you know, of those things of the world that are not Christ, that are not of God, um, that we, that are of our own um, uh, thoughts and our own connivings and whatever it is, are not good for us as human beings. Um, we must always uh, be aware of them and run from them because they will never, in the end, ever help us to become the people that God uh, expects us and wants us and needs us to be. It is what hopefully our graduates from the eighth grade of the Franciscan School will take with them as they move into their futures, um, in which they'll be able to perceive the world in all of its goodness and its wonder and be able to choose continually what is good and wonderful in their lives. A continued blessed Easter season, St. Francis and people of God, may the Lord give you his peace.